Hello, I am Dr. Suresh Itnani from India, the past president of the International Maritime Health Association and also the current trustee of the International Seafarers Welfare and Assistance Network. The very fact that I hold two caps with two organizations is because I truly believe that on the integration of health and welfare, about the symbiotic relationship and how important it is that both these areas can be covered and, and covered together and work together. We start off with uh, the regional program in South Asia from 2005 to 2010, where we developed port welfare committees in, in the major ports of India, in all the 12 major ports of India, and also the National Seafarers Welfare Board in four countries. That's in India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Pakistan. What we did was to get people from the shipping industry at port level and at the national level together around the same table to discuss issues on how we could take forward uh, seafarers' welfare and health under one platform. And over a five-year period, we did extremely well. Um, and for that, we, we got recognized at the ILO for some very good work done and which could be replicated to other parts of the world. At ground level, what we did was we developed two model centers in Mumbai and in Goa where we used the model of integration of health and welfare. Like for example, as we all know that every seafarer who goes out to sea does have to attend the medical clinic to get his medical certification to, to work on board. What better opportunity than this uh, which we had to be able to speak to seafarers, counsel them, give them uh, information on the seafarers health information program and other welfare uh, uh, areas which you could work upon uh, than these clinics. They turned out to be pretty successful. When a, when a seafarer used to come to these clinics, he would get a lot of information on the various seafarer centers around the world in the seafarers directory which we distributed um, to all the seafarers. So far till date, we've distributed more than 9,000 of such booklets where every seafarer uh, has this book with him when he's sailing. And if he gets to any port, he knows which center to go to and what are the facilities available at that center. These welfare initiatives were not only for seafarers, but also for the families. Way back home, the seafarers are very concerned uh, in case there were any issues concerning the families. The families could now come to these centers in Mumbai and Goa and address those issues. If the families of seafarers would like to come to our, to our centers, they had the opportunity to use the welfare facilities available there like communication. They could communicate with their near and dear ones from our centers directly. They could come if they had any health problems and we could look after the, uh, their parents who invariably needed um, medical, uh, medical assistance. So, Seafarers knew about these new facilities and the, and the new areas of welfare uh, which were forthcoming uh, to their near and dear ones and they're pretty happy and appreciative about, about that. I'm Dr. Suresh Nani, and I'm here in Geneva today to attend the special tripartite meeting um, of the, at the ILO and also to attend the very special award uh, ceremony which uh, was uh, held yesterday by ISWAN and supported by stakeholders of the global shipping industry including the ship owners organizations, the ship, uh, seafarers organizations, the governments, the uh, non-government organizations like ours, that is IMHA, and of course ISWAN, uh, the other organization I, I represent. These award ceremony are so important, um, uh, and they portray the recognition by individuals, by welfare centers, by shipping companies, 
and by other stakeholders who have been responsible to take forward uh, the welfare issues which are now mandatory uh, under the new Maritime Labor Convention. And I, the award winners were truly deserving because I, I know most of them and, and the work they've been done, doing over several years. And I, and I compliment them for taking up the welfare issues of seafarers and for putting it up at the right place where it should be. It is so important for the for the people who won the awards for the recognition they get that not only it gives them um, uh, encouragement to do more, but it also encourages the others in in, in this field uh, to be able to excel and provide those welfare services to seafarers. At the same time, I think it is also very important that um, other areas of the world, the other the other ports also um, uh, contribute uh, the same way and come forward and uh, come and showcase to the world that the good work they're doing for seafarers welfare like in Africa, in Southern America, in um, uh, Southeast Asia. There's lots of good work going around the world but I, it needs to be documented and they need to come forward and be able to be at such award ceremonies and be recognized for the tremendous good work they're doing on seafarers welfare. ISWAN has, has done well uh, to be recognized by the global shipping industry as the frontline provider of uh, welfare services uh, to seafarers. And I think um, other organizations uh, with which it has a symbiotic relationship, uh, like the International Maritime Health Association, the uh, International Shipping Federation, the ITF, ICMA, and the MPHRP all work together under, under one roof so that uh, they would avoid duplication of efforts. Health issues concerning seafarers um, un under this umbrella of integration, uh, like uh, which which need which need to be addressed, are the mental uh, issues concerning seafarers uh, is an important area for, for for us to work together in the future. The other areas are uh, um, women seafarers and uh, what sort of problems they have uh, on board. Uh, there is also uh, an, uh, another area which is equally important is about uh, uh, the accidents and injuries on board uh, which the which seafarers uh, suffer from. And I think um, we can all work together towards a uh, sort of a retrospective study uh, to see what sort of injuries and accidents uh, have taken place in the past, learn from that and be able to put uh, preventive mechanisms uh, in future to prevent uh, and reduce such accidents and injuries. These are some important areas uh, which uh, we will work together. The other last area which I think is also equally important is the health promotion. And as you know, ISWAN um, distributes uh, these uh, leaflets uh, on the Seafarers Health Information Program, which were originally produced uh, 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 with the cooperation between IMHA and, the, uh, and ISWAN in the past. And that is, uh, a lot of seafarers have commented that this sort of information is very good for us and, and we look forward to um, more topics on the seafarers and health information program in the future. That's great. As we know That's now great. that there are more women seafarers in the international shipping industry and uh, primarily they are uh, more with the uh, cruise lines. And uh, there are issues concerning women seafarers which need to be uh, looked at more closely interpersonal issues, there are issues, uh, men, men, mental issues. As you know, see, um, a lot of seafarers uh, live in uh, live on board a ship, which is their home. And in, in, invariably, uh, there are uh, the, 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 the female seafarers and the male seafarers who have some uh, areas of concern uh, uh, when they work together. So these are the areas, uh, especially the, the, the health areas, are the areas which we, we plan to look into the future. Uh, areas which uh, need to be looked at are mental health issues, uh, areas like the, the HIV and, and others. Yeah, please go ahead. The Maritime Labor Convention um, from the ILO, uh, which was which came into being uh, under tripartism, um, is very important for, for, for seafarers around the world because it gives them their right. At the same time, it also 
assist the ship owners um, where they are on um, equal uh, footing. Um, but it's, it's also very important that uh, as far as the health of seafarers are concerned and uh, the type of medical certificate uh, they get, it's very important uh, that uh, they be issued the medical certificates by qualified um, doctors. And uh, that is an important area uh, of, which needs to be looked at under the new under the Maritime Medical Convention. It is the clinical judgment of the maritime health physician which will play a, a big role in seeing that the health of seafarers are, are safeguarded in future.